We're here uh, because we got a review of a, a pretty unique title um, called Sybil um, from Nina Freeman and the folks at Star Made Games. Star Made Games. Which, um, according to my notes here, is, is Nina Freeman, um, written and designed by Nina Freeman. The game was programmed by Emmett Butler, uh, soundtrack composed by Decky Koss. I apologize if the pronunciations are off. Uh, illustrated and animated by Rebecca Dunlap. Um, the short films in the game were uh, produced by Samantha Corey, and the male lead voice acting was by Justin Briner. Or Brenner, sorry, Justin, if I mispronounced that. So, um, yeah, so me and Josh played Sybil, and, yeah. and we beat it in about, I think it... About the, two hours. Yeah. But the, they, they say um, the game should take about an hour and a half to two hours, yeah. and that's that's about how long it took us to uh, get through it. Um, <clears throat> really interesting game. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if you could call it a game. Yeah, like see, it's... Yeah, we were having this discussion because um, it is a game. Like, there's a game in it, and it, it is a game. But it's also very much an experience. It is. And it is. Very it's a much. very unique experience. But um, yeah, I can't say that I've ever played a game quite like Assistance. Sybil, yeah, Assistance. I've, I've never played a game quite like Sybil. Oh no, it was it was very um, interesting. Um, very different. I like. Um, well, on the notes we got with our um, our copies of the game to review, um, they had recommendations and notes, and this will I think help transition into more of the what we thought about this game. But it said on there the game would take about an hour and a half to two hours. Um, you should play it in one sitting, which is what me and Josh did. Yep. Um, it's recommended that you play the game with headphones. Absolute must. I and think. it's intended for mature audiences. Um, so me and Josh, actually, we played this game at separate houses and we were on a Ventrilo uh, voice chat server so we could kind of like discuss the game as we were yeah, playing. as we were playing, we could discuss um, it. So it was great, you know, because we had the headphones on for that. And once we got into game... Um, like, I don't know, it's hard to say where we want to start with with it, but um, I can give a, a little description. Um, I think, yeah, I think of a quick, quick, a quick, a quick breakdown or a synopsis of the uh, game to yeah. help get people familiarized with what, what they're going yeah. into here. But um, Sybil is a true love story. It's based on um, the character Nina, who it's kind of like autobiographical. So the, Nina, who made the game, it is kind of her. It's her story. Yeah, it's like a true story. Um, from when she was 19, um, she was playing, you know, a lot of MMOs. Um, the game kind of says, you know, I think it was it was modeled after Final Fantasy XI kind of like think the so. story. Um, and she meets this guy on on game, and throughout the game, the relationship heats up and goes places. Um, so I kind of thought it was um, it was a pretty unique game because when you when you boot into the game, you're sitting at the desktop. Yeah, yeah, you're at a design. you're at a like mocked up desktop like it feels like you're an actual desktop you got a couple icons down at the bottom of the screen you got a couple folders and some things that you can click on mm -hmm. and you can click on these folders these icons and they will bring different things up um some of her poems that she's written are yeah in there. some pretty cool um, ones in there one of them had a, a line i wrote in my notes here i thought it was hilarious like one of them had a line about geocities like the old web pages that was awesome oh, man. Yeah, we used a lot of angel fire back in the day yeah um, but that was cool, like the poems. Yeah, like poems, pictures, the pictures were, yeah. like stuff you'd expect to see on somebody's computer. So, like that was kind of weird because and they were real pictures. A lot of these weren't created. I'm sure in some of the later, like some of those were probably taken for the game. But a lot of these were were dated. They're pictures all from actual like pictures many years ago. So it was kind of weird as you're going through this desktop because it almost feels like you're spying or prying into somebody's yeah. life. Yeah. That maybe you shouldn't necessarily be like yeah, it's, looking at some of these. Files. It gives you an odd feeling, especially <laughs> nowadays with all the the anti kind of spying stuff that's going on. It it feels awkward at first. Yeah, going through these files, but it's cool though because you see it, and it's interesting because it, it helps you learn the character of Nina more. This, this game takes place when she was nineteen, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and she's in college, I believe. Um, <clears throat> takes and, place over a couple months. Yeah, over a yeah. couple months. And so when, there's three acts in the game. Yeah. When you're not clicking on files or looking at files on the computer, then you launch a icon for a game called... Vault of Mary. Vault of Mary. Yeah. And Which is cool, too, because the, the login screen is just like, you know, basically anything you'd find in MMOs where you, it has, like, the realm in there. Yep. Which, um... The character name. I'm trying to remember, was it Medusa? Medusa. Medusa yeah. server. It had her civil yeah. character. And then you log in and you walk into this game and there's, like, a zone. Yeah, you have, like, three different areas you could pick, you know, like... Yeah. Left side, up the middle, and to the right. And, um... You go through, and when you go into the game, that's when um, you play with uh, the character. You play with this Ichi? other character who 
ends up becoming like because I, I don't want to spoil yeah and you know, give too much. She away. ends up becoming close to this person. Yeah, and and it's pretty cool because uh, me and Josh played a lot of online games oh, over the yeah. years, and we've gotten close to people not in the sense that Nina, not not in the sense like this Nina this game with does this character of each but, um, slash but we've created friendships that and, still lasts. Yeah, and and I think the game, I think the this game Sybil deals with a lot of. Um, Things that a lot of online gamers seem to have a problem with, and that's um, forming actual physical connections with somebody. Oh, God, yeah. Whereas um, you can have connections with people that are in a game, but outside it's hard of that, that bridge game, it's to hard. Yeah, it's hard to gap yeah. that bridge from, okay, well, I got all these friends in this game, but in real life, I can't make as many friends. And, yeah. and I give... Nina Freeman a lot of credit because she really, it felt like she really put herself out in this game. Yeah. I mean, there's. There's some scantily clad pictures of her in the game, mm-hmm. like you. Know, the, for for her to go out there and put like that take this story from her life, this very personal, oh god, yeah, important. I'm assuming part of her life and put it make it into a game like that. That takes a lot of courage. Well, yeah, so. it's a first love, and it's you know you meet somebody on the internet and and you end up you know putting yourself out there and and. Doing things with these, these yeah, people, you know, and playing you know, hours. On sometimes a game relationships go the way you yeah. want them to. Sometimes they don't. So, and I love this. Is probably going to go longer because I have so much stuff I want to talk about with this, and that's okay if this it goes fifteen is, twenty cause, minutes. Because I, I think we're going to hit all the things that we liked about the game yeah. first. There are very few cons. Very, um, very few. We'll cons, hit those near the end know, here. Very few cons. Um, personally, I kind of want to start with um, the music. Oh yes, I really, really like the music in that game. It's yeah. very. Decky Koss or Deckman Koss, because I've seen your name listed two different places. Um, it it's was very good. almost like ominous at the same. It's it's almost like an ominous ominous ambience. Yes, it reminded me of Minecraft's um, music when you have it going there, like it, it, it like loops, but it kind of. See, I thought I the music weird. in Sybil was a lot darker. Yeah. Darker, but I loved it. I yeah. loved the music in that game. Well, I've been watching, and I mean, these comparisons might be, some people are going, what the hell? But, like, I've been watching a lot of, um, like, Halloween films and, and a lot of, like, Escape from New York and stuff. And, and what Decky Koss did with the soundtrack, it kind of reminded me, like, of John Carpenter, where, like, I don't know, there's, like, a certain, the music was there to accompany just kind of what was going on. And, and yeah, a lot it of, helped um, set the mood and maintain yeah, the mood, I I'm think. not trying to say that you're going to get John Carpenter music in there. It's just <laughs> to me, that's... Um, I'm really good with music and familiar with music, but mm-hmm. I'm not the best at, <laughs> at describing some yeah. of this stuff. But the music was, like you said, it was really yeah, good. The, the the music um, was especially in the MMO. Um, oh yeah, the music in the MMO was the, the best. Yeah, the music uh, was the type of music that you would find in a normal MMO that could repeat and it would do the loop. Yep. And you could spend hours and hours in these zones, and the music you would never get tiring. It would be like a nice background music. Yeah. Um, and that would just be the one zone, which we can talk about even the game in there was really cool. Cause it, it was. Well, and I think that goes along more along along the side of, like, the art direction of the game. Oh, yes. Because, I mean, the music, there's not much to say about the music aside from we thought it was fantastically done. Oh, yeah. So, the, Rebecca the Dunlap, is, Emmett Butler, Nina Freeman, you guys, art style was awesome. Yeah, the, the art style of the game it itself. Was cool. Even the, the desktop. That you're operating in when you're not inside the I game. I want that but, OS, like yeah. a version of that, different skins, because that was. But, but cool. even the the uh, Vault of Mary. Mm-hmm. Well, sorry, you just your the thought. art style on it was very like I really yeah, liked you, it. It was very unique. Very each zones got their own. Very kind of abstract. Vibe, well, it's like music. the creatures and enemies you fight in there were very. Yeah. Very. It's like wow, I didn't expect this kind of thing to be in here. Oh, exactly. Um, I wanted to hit on first because we're gonna get ahead of ourselves here. But mm-hmm. when you first log into the MMO, and you know, Itchy Itch, Ichi is there, um, who Sybil is going to play with, um, this guy that she has a relationship with, um, that you see build the the best thing that I think happened, and I think why the headphones are recommended is we log in, and it caught me so off guard right away, but. It was like, you know, we have been in, you know, many games. Countless guilds. We started with Roger Wilco back in the day with yeah. voice chat. And uh, me and Josh played this game on Ventrilo. And uh, so as you're playing, you have your headphones on. All of a sudden, Nina comes in with we'll headphones. Yeah. And Ichi's in there. And they're like on a voice chat server together. Yeah. And it was so real. It felt like you were actually there. Like, yeah. It felt that even though you're an outsider watching the interactions mm-hmm. of two people, it almost felt like you were a third Watching person them or there. Or yeah, playing with them. With them. Yeah, it felt like you were a person they were playing with. Yeah. I'm like, I thought the voiceover stuff with the headphones was really well done, which mm-hmm. 
makes oh, sense yeah. on why it recommends the headphones. wearing headphones, and I highly recommend wearing headphones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen it. to that, um, definitely. And I know nowadays that's more common. Um, you know, it says headphones are recommended. I almost say, like, headphones are a must. Like, must. They, Do it. They, it really helps immerse you into the game mm-hmm. when they're having the conversation, because yeah. it feels like you are listening in on a Well, server. and what was odd with me, what I felt is, because, yeah, the first time I was playing that, I felt like I was with them. But then I noticed when the tr- when I finished playing that first time and it transitioned, you know, it does like a so and so months later or whatever. Yeah, it I don't jumps, think that's jumps too much of a spoiler. Um, the second time you log into the game and the voice chats, I actually found myself becoming more immersed in it and actually felt like I was playing as Nina the character as opposed to the first time I was in there where yeah. I just felt like I was watching them or or there. I actually started becoming more immersed with it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, and one of the cons, I mean, we we kind of were going to talk about like the combat. Yeah, we can get to the cons. I think eventually later on because yeah. yeah, it's not really a con. Like it's yeah, yeah. We we I had pointed something out and then Matt. Repoint something out to me, and well, because it's hard, you know, sense. when you review a game, because it's like it's some of these things could be considered. Um, well, and you said you want to get back to that later, yeah, the cons or whatever. Yeah, I definitely want to hit all the game's strong points very first, cons. and yeah, the the desktop because I was talking about how when you go in, into the MMO the second time. Um, before that, the, the desktop changes with time too, which I yes. thought was great. Um, different pictures are there. The chat logs are great to read. Well, and let's, let's not forget, um, the messaging while you're in the game. Yeah. Yes. You, you can mess, yeah. you'll get like instant messages or mail messages yeah. in the game. Yeah, I'm a bit scared uh, right, guys. That Sorry. you can respond to. Mm-hmm. You don't respond to them like yourself. You just click reply and it'll type out. She types a message. I'm assuming. But they she... will reply as time goes on. Yeah. And, um, a uh, one key aspect of this game that we could totally forgot about was if you're not in the desktop and if you're not in the game you're viewing um fmvs basically you're you're viewing full motion videos mm-hmm. and um i thought that was really interesting Which i was cool yeah i i have a you know fmvs keep a warm place in my heart i love fmv games oh yeah i love really bad fmv games these well, fmvs I want to go on a tangent. Yeah, do you remember the Resident Evil 1? Was it the director's cut where they added that whole intro video? Yeah. I love that stuff. Yeah. F&B's, and these were shot well. I mean, um, they were shot let me get her name well. again here. Uh, Samantha Corey produced um, these and like the lighting. Like they just had a great yeah. mood to them. The music um, changes yeah. and that's another spot where I think yep. the music really shines. Yeah, the, the f and when those F&B's are playing. Are yeah. Top notch. Like very, very well done. Yeah. Um, a- as a whole... It's a very good game. Yeah, you know? definitely. And and I want to hit, because I know how some people are, um, because I mean, I don't want to sit here and get into like, what's it called? But like the trailers, right? Now, like, Nina has released, uh, I believe, three trailers. She had a prologue trailer. She had um, a teaser trailer and I think like a, a release trailer or whatnot on YouTube. And it's like some of the comments, like I know like some of these guys are going to be like the dude bro people, but like a lot of these people were, were questioning the whole game thing. And like, I don't want to go too many tangents in this. It's a game, people. It- it's a game. It's hard to... It's more of an experience. It is more of an experience. That's why when we were talking earlier, mm-hmm. I had such a hard time necessarily calling this a game because while, yes, you do play it... It's a game. I don't feel like we've ever really had a game quite like this before. Mm-hmm. Well, me know? and Josh like. Mind you, we love... Like uh, I was telling I, yeah. in an email to Nina... Uh, Life is Strange more recently, Beyond Two Souls. I love rain. indie games. Like I Games that people are critical absolutely of. absolutely love over. indie games right now. You know, um, Story is key. I find and... myself real burned out and tired with AAA games. Yeah. And and indie games is where you are going to get the like innovations. Unique, yeah, You're going to get the unique story. experiences, which Sybil provides does a that. very unique mm-hmm. experience. Because, again, I can't recall a game like this. Yeah. I just can't. I, I cannot recall a game. And, and yes, it is short, you know. But that, you see, that's the reason why, though, is because there is a focused mm-hmm. story. That, yeah, it's a focused you know, story. You know, Freeman wanted to tell you guys and for you, you know? guys to experience. Yeah, um, which, and hey, that's awesome, you know. She was able to tell, if she was able to tell her whole, this whole story in a one and a half to two hour time period, then great. Mm-hmm. That means no fluff was added, you know, they, they didn't, she yeah. didn't sit there and just try to stack it with useless mm-hmm. garbage. Well, and what I like is um, the price of this, which I was going to keep all this to the end here. You know, it comes out on November 2nd, uh, 2015 here, which when this goes up, it'll be, it's out. It'll be up. Yeah. yeah. And it's going to be If you're watching this, it's out right now. Yeah. It's going to be eight ninety nine. So On it, Steam. Yeah. On Steam and, and Mac sale. and direct sale. So what I liked about 
this game though is because we've been playing these Metal Gears, The Witcher, we got Fallout coming out. Like all these games are like you could drop a hundred hours in these games. And I think what is special is these games that are smaller, they're shorter, they have a point, a story to tell you. Yes. They're interactive. Yep. And it's eight ninety nine. So I mean it's it's more than a, a sixth of the price that you're gonna yeah. be paying for these blockbusters. I don't understand more of you guys I think should check these games out if you're on the fence. I think I think you check it out. I mean, mm-hmm. I think you have no reason to deny yourself. Um, if you know you ever played online games, you've been in guilds. If you you know come from me and Josh, you know with AOL and the chat rooms back then, or AOL Instant Messenger, and you know you've had like relationships on there. I had a girl once in Texas that I was communicating with, and she sent me like pictures, not not bad pictures in the mail or whatnot. Like a lot of that stuff, like this relates to that in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I thought that was special. Um, quick cons. I mean, there's only a few, a few little yeah, ones. Yeah, there, there's only a few, um, a, a few things that I could ding no. this game on. Mind you, we played like a pre-release. Yeah, copy. we we played like a beta pre-release copy. So some of these, these things could be, fixed. could be fixed by the time the actual game goes up. I don't know. Again, they're very very minuscule, minuscule things. Yeah. Um, I had yeah. I know. Was it three uh, three chat logs were not open? Yeah, and which, I don't know if that's by design. Yeah, maybe that's by design. Some people might not care about the chat logs. Mm-hmm. We cared about the chat logs, so oh yeah, I was a little I disappointed that you know I sat there and tried to click on it and want to open. I was like, oh, I really, yeah. wa- I really wanted to see what that. And said. that could even been a bad download on our part. You know, maybe by re, you know, verifying the integrity exactly. of the files, it would have been fixed. Exactly. Um, um, then outside of that, I mainly in the third world. I mean, you had the same in, problem. in the third world. I had some of the same problems. Some of the, um, the navigation. navigation problems. Um, that world was very much narrow paths, and I found it difficult mm-hmm. to navigate some of that area in the third world. Navigation was a little bit of a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, it was only minorly frustrating, um, just because I knew I would be through it soon. Yeah. So it was something I was able to look past, but it is something I did notice that. Well. The navigation, at least in that third in yeah. that third world, was a little. Eh. Well, then something I was telling Josh is because like some people might feel the combat gets a little tedious. Yeah, that that was one of my cons, and then Matt pointed because my my thing was I was like, you know, the combat in the MMO portion of the game was very very tedious. Mm-hmm. Like it was very tedious. But then Matt pointed out. Well, I pointed out the focus is uh, the story and the voice chat. I found myself because the combat was, you know, a little tedious at times. It was still awesome. You know, the animation and everything is top notch. Uh, but because the combat is like that, it allowed me to focus more on the the audio, mm-hmm. the, Nina interacting with uh, Ichi, what they were saying. And then also we, we skipped a couple of things. Well, no, you said it, as you're playing the MMO, you will get messages from like, yeah. people in your clan. Mm-hmm. And I found on a few instances when I was kind of dragging ass that Ichi will interact with you in different ways and kind of telling you to hurry the yeah, hell hey, up hurry in, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, and that's a very good point. You know, yeah. while the combat is extremely simplistic and a little boring, I don't think the combat is the, it's not, it's, it's not, not the focus, focus there. It's the interaction, the focus is the interaction between the two characters yeah. and other people that you aren't necessarily talking to but chatting with oh yeah so i that made me forgive the combat quite a bit because i was like Mm -hmm. yeah you know what i never and most of the time when i was in combat all i wanted to do was it to hurry up because i wanted more of that story i wanted to know more yeah yeah. and there's some cool things kind of in that mmo world too that we haven't talked about because we don't want to spoil the game yeah we don't want to spoil it we um but i really loved um the, a lot of it, I love the, the the fact that they had guilds in there, but they were called ampules. ampules. Like, it's an interesting some really cool stuff yeah. that that is in there. Um, and a unique game that, like, frankly, if uh, Vault of Mary like existed and there was like a little more to it, I would totally play that game. Yeah. Well, and that, that that's the other thing. Like, if you played MMOs, I think you'll appreciate this game even more because a lot of the messages you get will be very like, "Oh, hey, you know, how come you're running with this guy?" Oh God, it's it's so like, true. It, that stuff always happens. You played it, and it like you're reading these messages, like, "Oh, yeah, I totally know what this person's saying." Man. And there may or like, may not be this. ampule turmoil in this game, but like me and Josh have experienced that firsthand running guilds and yeah. stuff, and you have kind of inner fighting, and you have like, mm-hmm. "Oh, so you're running with so and so?" No, yeah, how come you're running with this person yeah. more than you're running with me now? And like how oh. this game has like some of the messages and stuff yeah. that are kind of cool like that. But it, it was really good. It was, it was really good. Yeah. And I like and like we said, the cons I, that we even listed are minuscule. I mean, could be for fixed. eight ninety nine. Yeah, dude, it's what negatives were there. Mm-hmm. Eight ninety nine. It's real easy to look past those. 
Yeah. I think this game is a unique enough of ex- an experience that you should shell out the eight ninety nine. Oh, and yeah. It, play check it. this game out for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't I think, think you'll so be too. disappointed. Like I said, it tells a great a uh, great story that I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. Oh, hell yeah. But I think the story well, a lot. Yeah, and I brought up the whole internet, to. you know, like love and, and meeting people online. I mean, that MySpace, AOL, and mm-hmm. like you don't have to just be in the MMO to yeah, appreciate no, that. No, it's, it's a very modern story for yeah. sure. Like, and like I said, so yeah. people, people will definitely, what's it called, if, you know, Given this is our fewer first review and we're still working out a a scaling system yeah. here, we decided to go with stars because it's easier, right? Why not? You have points and you get into all this, yeah, averages and shit like that. Rating systems are, are are interesting because a lot of people will sit there and they just want to look at the score and the review doesn't so much as, as matter as much. And then yeah. people sit there and they go on and on about that. Yeah, we'll go to like a zero out of one hundred when we go to Metacritic and want to screw people over. No, <laughs> no that's, um, that's not cool though. No, um, I think we both agreed a, f- a four, four, out, of four out of five stars. Yeah. Like the, the only this, real issues I had with it were some of the cons, and like we said, those could have been yep. you know fixed or just little minuscule things that that and that's it. I mean, yeah, so that de- definitely check this game out. So it's, um, it's different if you're a Call of Duty bro. And you're watching this, just no. don't bother because you're no, probably no. Because you know what though, like the, the thing is, I don't you, think people those, like they're going to ex- appreciate this. Let's game see. Though. I think they need to. Um, what's it called? Don't tap on the desk. <laughs> this t- you always do that, but um, no. The thing is, I think these people need to sit there, and it's like you're afraid to feel emo. I think you guys need to check these games out more and give them a chance. They should. It's, yeah, they because should. these games are not going away. They're around. I have said many times before that whole argument of games are art. They, it is. Games are art. This is a game. Yep. It tells it a great art. story it's and a great experience. Piece of art. And it's art. So I think I challenge you guys for eight ninety nine. Go 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 yeah, check it out. Seriously, I mean, it's why not? Um, it's like the cost of an extra value meal at McDonald's. Seriously, basically, go go put and, something else better in your body and yeah, so, experience this game. So that's Sybil, made by uh, Nina Freeman and Starmade Games. Nina Freeman and Starmade Games. Uh, yeah. You can check them out. We'll put the website, like, what, right? Yeah, we'll right put down there, info Sybil in Games. there. We'll, in we'll splash all their information yeah. all over here so you guys can go check them out, see what they're up to. Yeah. And throughout the video, you guys have been able to see some art, and we'll put some of the trailers in the video here. And, she, uh, Nina Freeman actually works at Fulbright Studios She works as well. at Fulbright Studios They're working at well. Tacoma. The Tacoma, which yes. I'm that looks good too. excited for Tacoma. Well, God, I feel like we're going to wrap this up. And then I wanted to say yeah. real quick what I thought was also interesting with this game is because I've been following, you know, Nina even before I knew of this game, mm-hmm. back when she used to like t- Twitch stream games. So I felt like it was weirder for me going in because it's like, this is the girl that's always Twitch streaming like Splatoon <laughs> and stuff versus you who didn't really know I much s- about her. I saw her. Twitter things. Yeah, I saw that we followed her on Twitter. Yeah. And so that was an interesting little it. thing. But um so that's it. 899 it's coming out on November 2nd, 2015. If you're watching this review, it's already out. Check it out. Yeah, go check so it out. Check it out. It's a good game, guys. Absolutely. So, all right, that's the review. We'll be back next Peace. time to review something else. Something else that's awesome. Fallout 4 probably. Cool. Take care. Right. Take it easy, everybody. Morning. What's up? Not much. Want to do a run together? Yeah. I kind of wish we lived closer. Yeah. Being on opposite coasts isn't the best for hanging out. Would you want to meet up with me, like, in real life?